see, this is the reason why we tell y'all to dig in them comment sections, right? Because look at this. This is groundbreaking for me. Because I've been trying to find out where this reflection is. And this comment right here put me right on the scale that I need to be on. I had to remember that there is a law to angles. There is a law to reflection. So first thing I want y'all to do is I want y'all to see this video real quick. So you can also be in tune with this law of reflection all right so check this out the law of reflection says fairly simply that when a wave hits a boundary and reflects off it will reflect at the same angle that it hit the boundary at the angle that it hits at we call the angle of incidence the angle it reflects at is the angle of reflection and by convention we measure both of those angles not from the surface itself but from a line perpendicular to that surface called the normal the law of reflection isn't unique to lasers or light waves or mirrors or anything like this. It applies equally well to all waves hitting all different surfaces, sound waves and water waves and surfaces like, uh, like say, a wall, sound wave hitting a wall, so we get reflections off the wall. The laser gives us a nice visual, but it applies to all different wave types. The geometry may feel pretty familiar here. It turns out that a number of familiar objects move in a very similar way to this. Here we see that a pool ball bouncing off the wall of the table follows exactly the same path as a laser obeying the law of reflection. All right, so if we are looking, and I'm gonna draw on it a little bit, if we are looking at a specific angle right or from a specific angle we have to understand that we are looking from this camera so this camera and I'm not going to be a hundred percent precise but it's going to be at least 95 percent precise this camera is coming from this direction now In showing you this, I have to show you also that this right here is indeed the middle of that frame, right? On the outside of that freezer. Now, in order to get this accurate, we have to understand the, uh, the way things are built, right? And so... The drawing plane for this line would be along with this 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 frame here, right? This frame here. It would be along this line of this frame here because the way things that are built. Now, because of the camera, it's not uh, the camera is not a, 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 what they call it. A, um, I think it's a fish eye. The camera is not a fish eye camera. So we don't have to worry about that. But at the same time, the closer objects are to the camera, we cannot use for things that are distant. So we can't use this 
to be precise with the um with the straight line of this coming from the middle of this frame from this frame to this wall we can't use this we have to use this or maybe this but i would use this right or even this right here see at the bottom of that base right there that frame right there that right there is facing directly towards it's a straight line directly towards that wall so in using this in this i can see that they're the same so i'm going to use this right here to draw a line from this freezer to the wall in front of it again it's not going to be 100 percent, but it's going to be at least 95 percent all right so as you can see so far if I take this line actually this line is not even that perfect it'll have to be somewhat like this but between this this section here right this whole section right here right this whole view that would lead us to something like this so nothing standing directly in front of this freezer we would see we would see anything close to that closet 